Perfect. So we're doubling up. Video will be the lecture for my online class. So that way these guys know. So, view for y'all, new stuff for y'all. So fertilizer bags, what do we have on them? Numbers, right? We'll say 20, five. Those are the bags that are on all, or numbers that are on all fertilizer bags. What do those numbers mean? The N, nitrogen, oxygen, NPK. That's your elements, your essential elements that are in all fertilizer bags to promote growth and healthy turf. But what do those numbers actually represent? Percentages. Twenty percent nitrogen, five percent phosphorus, ten percent potassium. We want to break this down into how many raw pounds of nitrogen, raw pounds of phosphorus, raw pounds of potassium that we actually have. To do that, it's very simple. It all comes in poundage of bags: forty pound, thirty pound, fifty pound. Makes no difference. What we want to say for this is a 50 pound bag. And I want to ask and find out how much raw nitrogen, the poundage of nitrogen that I have in that bag. How would I do that? Boom. Because these are percentages. We're going to turn this into a decimal. And it works for all your elements. Why would it be 0 0.05? Because you're moving the decimal places, decimal places two spots. Then the next step is to times that number, multiply that number by whatever poundage your bag is. Mm -hmm. So if it's a 30 pound bag, you would do 30, 40 pound bag, 40. In this case, it's a 50 pound bag. Do the math, which I have not done. Help me out. Ten. Ten pounds, two point five pounds. Of raw product that you have in that bag. But the rest of the stuff in the bag is what? Filler, right? This is your stuff that's actually going to promote growth and actually what you need. And if I was to ask a question, how much total pounds of raw product that's in a 50 pound bag? It would just be as simple as adding 10. 10.5 and 5. 15, 16, 17. 17.5 pounds of raw active product that you have in the, a 50 pound bag of fertilizer. And the rest is filler. So this is relatively pretty simple. Second review for us, new for you guys, is ratio. This is rarely used. Sometimes you'll hear salesmen talk about a ratio in a fertilizer bag. The only thing a ratio is, the easiest way to do it, it's a proportion. Ratios are a proportion. So ratio, you're going to take your lowest number that you have on the fertilizer bag, and then divide that. In this case, it will be five. So 
five pi five. So the ratio here would be four. Here's your ratio mark, the two little semicolons. One, two, four, one, two ratio. Question that we had before on the last class, let's say this was a 12. Perfectly acceptable to have a decimal place here. So 5 into 12 is what? Uh, 2.5? Was that how? Two, what was it, Sarah? 2.4? I can't hear you. Know so it's perfectly fine to have a decimal as your ratio. So 2.412. So just remember that the ratio is the lowest number divided into the other numbers. So if I had a 10, 10, 10, 17, 17, 17, what would my ratio be? Absolutely. Your lowest number is 10. Lowest number 17, you just divide that into yourself. That's a 1 minus 12. New for us, new for them. That's one. And, online, and I thought to myself, why not just combine it? Because I was doing separate videos, which was just stupid. Mm, well, we're not going that. We're not going that. <laughs> so our next, our next thing, huge in fertilizer calculation. Oh, all right. This is math, not English. What's the huge thing that we always have talk about? Won't over God. What you want over what you've got. What do we mean by that? That means if I want one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. But my bag is a, we'll do it easy one for this one, a 10, 10, 10. There's my fertilizer bag. My boss tells me I want one pound nitrogen per thousand. Won't over God. What I want is one pound. What I have is what? Point, absolutely. Point one. Remember, these are percentages. Your fertilizer bags are percentages, so you have to move that decimal place. So move the decimal place. Point one. One divided by point one equals ten pounds per thousand of nitrogen. That's a huge question. What, what does this number give us? Now this number gives us how many pounds of nitrogen that we want over a thousand square feet. But what if I'm not doing a thousand square feet? What if I'm doing, what was our problem before? Let's two, three acres, right? Three acres. This only gives us thousand square feet. So now we have to do the math and find out how to get it for more than a thousand square feet. So we start into word problems. We're going to do two today maybe. We'll go over the one that we did last week and we'll do a new one.
in Jordan last time, right? Like a fertilizer. Tyler, did you get this? Okay, perfect. Lee, did you get this? Like a thing, like a little worksheet type thing to sort of. I think we're all we're all good here on like one over God percentages ratios. Let's say a football field. Is one point three two acres. We want to know how many bags of fertilizer, so how many bags of fertilizer fertilizes one point three acres with one pound of nitrogen. So the first thing we need to do is find out how many square inches are in that 1.32 acres. That's our first step. We have acres square feet. All this math needs to be converted into square feet to make everything work out right. Our second step will be want over God. What we want is what we got. And let's say, let's say our bag is still uh, 25. $5. Bag of fertilizer. So let's do step one first. 1.32 acres. How many square feet? Square feet. Anybody? Fifty seven thousand four hundred and Leave out the point two. Square feet. How did I get it? Just a number. That's your magic number. Your magic, magic number in turf. 43,560. What is 43,560? That is how, absolutely. How many square feet are in an acre? You'll use this over and over and over again. 43,560. 1.32 acres. I'm going to multiply. 43,560 times 1.32 gives me 57,499 square feet. In class, we'll round up. Yeah, always round up, but for this example, don't worry about the decimals too much. I want you guys to know, too, if this was square feet instead of acres, what would I do to get it? Divide. Yeah, divide. But we always need to get this into square feet. Now we have Want over God. What do I want? One pound of 
What do I have? Point two. Remember, it's a percentage. So we can divide one by point two equals five. Five pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. I'm going to take that five pounds of nitrogen, and I'm going to times it by what? I'm going to multiply this five pounds by this number. But I'm going to do something with this number. Bam. We're all we're going to divide that number by a thousand. We're always working in square feet, thousand square feet, thousand square feet. So if I did 57, divided by a thousand, that gives me. Uh, we'll say, but don't let this confuse you. I'm going to show you a different step method to go through, but I just want everybody to know that the number you get here has to be divided by a thousand in step three. And you're going to take your won't over got, which you figured out, five pounds times 57.4, so you divided the square feet by 1,000, and that's going to give me something along the lines of 287. We'll just keep it at 287, give or take. That's total pounds that we will need to do this football field. Total product. But we want to know how many bags that is. This is how much pounds we're going to have to use to get what? One pound of nitrogen per thousand. We're going to have to use 287 pounds on a 1.3 acre field to get one pound of nitrogen per thousand. But for the bags, super simple. 50 pound bag. By 287 by 50 gives us, I think, 5.7. 5.7 bags of fertilizer, but for us, we are not going to, you can't go nowhere to get, you know, three quarters of a bag. So, six bags of fertilizer. Six bags. 287 pounds of total product to get one pound in per thousand. That can be delivered by applying six bags of fertilizer. You'll have a little left over, but in this business, always let me tell you, run it out. All right, Sierra, you're a little bit different, like greenhouse type stuff. Lee will tell you for loans. I'll tell you on the golf course, people tell you in sports fields, no half bags. All right, run it out somewhere. Run it out in the rough, run it out in the rough, just run it out. No half bags. So six bags. We'll do another one. We'll say... Pound 
My boss tells me he wants two pounds per thousand, two pounds of nitrogen per thousand. Thousand square feet, and it's one acre. I want to know how many pounds of product, and how many bags. So our first step is what? Acreage and square feet. Acreage and square feet. Acreage, square feet. So in this example, we didn't get square feet. He gave us uh, one acre. And hopefully everybody remembered the magic number is what? 43,560. Bam, step one we have. Easy enough. 43,560. Step two. Want over God. Want over God. What do I want? Yes. What do I have? Exactly. 0.17. Remember, percentages, percentages, got to move the decimal a few places. 0.17. Divide two. Looks like we get 11.76 of nitrogen and per valve. Not bad, right? Step three. Here's where we get started to get a little bit more confusion, but this is super easy. Step three, divide by a thousand. Divide what, you might ask, by a thousand? Bam! Not your acreage, Tyler, but what? Boom! Your square footage. Step three, divide by a thousand. What are we dividing by a thousand? Your square footage in step one. 43, 560, divide by a thousand, it's like 43, 5, 6. There we go. There we go. Step four, we're going to take this 43.56 and multiply it by your won't ever got, right? So to make it simple, yes, 43.560 multiplied by your won't ever got, 11.76, put that as won't ever got, here is your square feet. 112 pounds, give or take, of what? Total product, total pounds, I should say, total pounds. Boom. Total pounds. So I want everybody to remember this is super important. Your two pounds nitrogen. To get that over a thousand square feet, to get that in one acre, you have to put out 512 pounds of fertilizer. And if I wanted bags, divide by 50, you get 10.25 bags. And on this real world, like this real world scenario, Quarter of a pound, right? Always go up. 
But if I'm doing my math and I'm doing my calculations and I get that, I'm going to be honest. Ten bags will get you there. You see what I'm saying? I would only go up a bag if it's like over a half a pound. If it's anything less than that, you, ten bags will be fine. You're, you're going to get enough nitrogen to go out. But for our purposes in class, I told everybody to round up, so always round up. Real world, use your head, go 10. Class, round up, let them know. And don't ever come back with a half bag. Spread that stuff out in the rough somewhere if you're using 11 bags. 10 bags, you're coming back perfect. You're going to use it all. So. We saw it. Everybody good? I know we were getting confused the last time, so I saved the word problem. So. So the word problem we have people off. If I have a loan, square feet, 525 square feet, and I want to supply one pound nitrogen per thousand square feet. My bag is a 15, 3, 10 fertilizer. Right. So there's a word problem. Pretty simple. But now I'm going to test the class and I'm going to ask some stuff. Hopefully, y'all will get it. And hopefully, y'all will understand. So there's my work problem. I have a home loan 250 feet by 525 feet. And I want to put out one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet out of a bag of 15, 3, 10 fertilizer. First question. How much... Usable nitrogen is in the bag. Second question is the ratio of bag. Third question, I want to know how much nitrogen long use one and in and four how many All right, that's crazy confusing, right? The students in the class now are like, Jesus. Once again, word problems. Word problems suck. They do. But we have enough information to get all this done out of this right here. So we'll put in a fourth or a fifth question to follow here. Maybe how many total? Work that out. Okay, question number one. How much usable nitrogen is in the bag? Uh, it's a 50 pound bag. 50 pound bag. All right. As we look back, we remember these are percentages. It's a 50 pound bag. Here's your N, your P, and your K. We're looking for nitrogen. So we take 50 multiplied by 0.15. 
7.5. Is everybody in agreement? Of usable nitrogen. All right. Is everybody solid on that? We just did what's usable nitrogen. The rest is called what? Filler. That's what we did the whole thing. Yeah. What's the ratio of that? Well, that's what we have a 15, 3, 10. We did the ratio, we divide by the lowest number. Ratio would be a five, one, three point three. Pretty simple. I think we're all solid on this. Now, how much nitrogen will cover the loan to produce one pound of N per thousand? Well, now we're back to step one. All right? Acreage, square feet. 250, there we go, basic area, 250 times 525, what was the top? 100,000. 100,000. 100,000. Where is the step one's checked off? Why is it checked off? You got it square. We would divide by what? 43,560. Which is 38,000. Step one we had, a square feet. Step two. Won't overdrive. What do I have? What do I want? What do I have? 115. Six point six seven pounds of N. There we go. Step three. Start getting confused, but don't let it excuse you. Write these steps down. Step one. Step two. Step three, divide by a thousand. What are we dividing by a thousand? The square footage. Gives us what are we doing with that? There we go. Step four. We multiply what you got and won't ever got. What you got is step three. All right? To make this super simple, we can say step four is won't over got times your square feet. But just know that you take your one over nine, 6.67, multiply that by the answer you got in step three. That gives us
on River God, divided by a thousand, thousand square feet. We're off right here. There's your square footage. That's what one over God. Did I multiply it wrong? 6.67 times. There, my bad. Ooh, I multiplied it wrong. There we go. There we go. 875.43. My bad. Of what? Fertilizer that you're putting out. 875 pounds of total fertilizer you're putting out. Per in per thousand over basically a three acre lot. How many bags would that be? Everybody solid on this? Got the right numbers? Everybody's good? A little confusing there when my multiplication went south, but that's all right. That's why, even for me, like it's crazy important to do these steps. And the more you do these steps, when you get to a number, like I knew that number right off the bat was like, holy crap, there's no way that it's going to be 87,000 for three, three acres. I mean, you know, so you'll, you'll learn to like pick stuff up. But it's crazy important to do the steps. So we'll do one more. So for that, we had how much nitrogen was over the wall? We uh, reduce the one pound in. Now increase. I would say six point six seven pounds per thousand. So actually, the answer would be. Let's say I have a fifty pound bag. Of ten five five. I want one pound nitrogen per thousand square feet. And the area I want to fertilize is 200 feet long by nine. How many bags? One. So we did step one. Acreage. Square feet. We want everything in square feet. So simple area. 200 times 90. Eighteen thousand. Square feet. So we check that one off. Step two. Won't over God. Want over God. So what do I want? One pound in. What do I have? Point one. Do the math. Two. 
in pounds. In pounds in step three. Divide by a thousand. What are we dividing by a thousand? The square footage. Are needed. Step four. And one eighty. Multiply it by. Yeah, God, I keep doing that. God, I think I do keep doing that. That's like it. That is that is my man. God, I do keep doing that. There we go. <laughs> what is it, Lee? Yeah, my bad. Holy Lord. I've got to stop doing that. Terry, you are 100% correct. So there's 180. And divide by 50. Now, now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. My decimal place stuff is off. Exactly. So basically, 3.6 bags when you divide that out, and it's going to be four bags. So we'll do one more. Another just quick Let's say we'll have a fifty pound bag of five, ten, ten. And I want one pound in per thousand. My area is six hundred feet, one hundred and twenty. And I want to know how many. Square feet. So that's 600 times 120. Mm -hmm. 72,000. Are we all in agreement? Mm -hmm. 72,000 square feet. So step one's done because we've already got it in the footage. Step two, won't over up. I want one pound in. I have point zero five. Remember the percentage is because it's the ten two decimal places. So I have point zero five. So one divided by point zero five equals twenty. Step three, divide by a thousand. What are we dividing by a thousand? 
for square footage. <laughs> Step four. Yes. Buy. Boom. Won't ever got. By the answer number three. So that would be 20 by 72. That gives me. Total product, total poundage, however you guys want to word it. But I asked for the bag, so we would divide by 50. And that gives me 28.8 bags. Is there any such thing? No, 29 bags. Now, what if I told you those bags cost $13.25? Really, I mean, even I myself hopefully can get that. I would multiply thirteen dollars times twenty nine bags, three hundred eighty four dollars. So three hundred eighty five dollars is what we have for lump sum, and twenty five cents. We'll get into that. We'll get into that later. But how much it costs to do stuff. So for today's lesson, won't ever got. We're down and we'll start doing nothing but pretty much word problems. Counting on y'all to keep me on my toes and my decimals. Good. We're doing good.